So I've been doing a lot of videos on different ways I've heard from the Lord and some of the videos I've previously posted. But what is the way that I most commonly hear from God? Well, the most common way I hear from God is that He shares His like his thoughts, his, his feelings about things, his thoughts about things uh, directly to my spirit. And then from my spirit, it comes into my mind where it gets translated into something that I can at least partially understand. Uh, quite oftentimes, you know, I'll get a picture, or it'll be a series of words. And I'm like, what? That makes no sense. And that's actually really awesome because that is an invitation to continue the conversation, to learn more, to, to get deeper into the heart of God and understand how he thinks and feels even deeper. It doesn't always not make sense, but there's quite a few times where it's, it just seems totally uh, contrary to what I think it should be. Anyway, this can be very difficult to to discern, very difficult to hear, because this is that still, small voice of the Lord. This is, you know, the joy that bubbles up when things are hard. This is the uh, calm, loving peace you feel when uh, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling worried. This is the affirmation that is bigger than anything you can ever say about yourself that comes when you're feeling really down, when you've messed up again, and God's like, I've got something more. Yeah, you messed up. You need to change. But come to me, and I have so much for you. You have no idea. So how do you recognize this? How do you learn to recognize? Well, the first place I would start is with Scripture. I love the stories. Not everybody loves to focus on the stories. I love to focus on the stories for this because I get to see how God took imperfect people and imperfect whole societies that were sinful, that had a lot of horrible things in them, and God patiently met them where they were at and took them step by step in a direction that would bring more wholeness, more healing, uh, more connection with Him for not only an individual, but also entire nations. And so read these stories, read the scripture, looking for the face of God. What his character is like? What his voice was like in the different stories? How he led, how he directed people. That will give you a good foundation. As for the rest, a lot of it is just, just like any other relationship. You get to know the person. God has his own personality, and getting to know him, it's wonderful, but it's, it's also complicated because he's not human. He doesn't think like a human. He doesn't talk like a human. He doesn't act like a human. He doesn't view things like a human. So it's going to take time. And as always, when you, when you think you've heard something, test it against Scripture. Test to see what fruit is coming out of what you've heard. These are the basics you should never leave. I know you can hear from the Lord. I, I want to read a scripture briefly uh, from John chapter 10, verse 3, where it's talking about Jesus the Good Shepherd. It says, The watchman opens the gate for him, Jesus the Good Shepherd, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. If you've trusted in the Lord, if you've trusted in the death and the resurrection of Jesus as payment for your sins and to bring you into new life and connection, perfect connection with God, you are his sheep. You can hear his voice. And you can recognize it. I know you can. Because the scripture says so. And if you're not experiencing it, it's a great opportunity to say, God, how do I hear you? 
How do I recognize your voice? Keep praying it. And keep praying it. I still pray it. Because I don't hear from the Lord as perfectly as I want to. And I know you're going to get an answer. God bless you. And have a wonderful, wonderful relationship with a beautiful one with burning eyes of fire full of love and passion and beauty and wonder. Amen.